thinking about this disease. Um, we uh, probably are 20 years behind Alzheimer's in terms of discoveries about the cause uh, and uh, even diagnosis. So I, I would say really serious research uh, into frontotemporal dementia began um, in the 1990s. Um, I think that the big uh, advances are um, recognition. We now uh, are getting much better uh, at diagnosing the disease, separating it from Alzheimer's disease, separating it from psychiatric conditions, which it often mimics. So um, I, I think um, at the moment we are still at a very uh, primitive stage in terms of treating behavior. be done to, to make an early diagnosis? I, I think most of it is a careful history, uh, realizing that this is not a disorder of memory like Alzheimer's disease, realizing that uh, this often presents uh, in a psychiatric form, change in personality, disinhibition, apathy, uh, and imaging is very helpful. We need imaging. Uh, most of the patients that we see show atrophy of the front part of the brain. So I, I think the diagnosis, uh, if uh, suspected, is usually very easy to make. Uh, right now in the United States, we're doing a 11-center um, placebo-controlled study, really the first uh, of its kind, uh, using a compound called memantine. And this uh, has uh, been approved in the United States for Alzheimer's disease, and it uh, blocks uh, overexcited uh, neur uh, neural um, circuits with uh, glutamate. Uh, so this may have mild efficacy. But I, I think the big advances are going to come when we go at treating the molecular basis, the cause for the disease.